all right, everybody. I'm hoping that you're all doing great. Now, less than 70 days to CAT. And I'm hoping that you're all putting your best foot forward as far as CAT is concerned. To help you all in this journey and to continue our journey of 100 days to CAT series, I am back and we are discussing about special equations. One very, very important aspect as far as algebra is concerned, can't think about missing it out. Let's begin and let's see what do we mean by special equations and how do we go about solving them. I am Sudhanshu, CAT 99.7, your friend and guide in the journey. Let's take it forward. So let us take a very simple example. What are special equation? Uh, special equations are basically, let's say, for example, I have an equation like this, right? So I have an equation in two variables. Normally, for a unique solution, I would require two equations in two variables to be able to solve it, right? Whenever I have only one equation, right? And, you know, when we have a certain conditions to find out solutions to that equation, that is known as special equation. Let's see, let's have a look at this example. 5x plus 2y is equal to 109. So here, apne ko, you know, that is given to us. And there is a condition that is given to us. Obviously, we are looking at multiple possibilities here. Right? How do we go about solving special equations? A very simple guide to solving special equations. Let's see. Step number one, which is absolutely simple. Let's convert this into, I can write this as 5x is equal to 109 minus 2y. Right. So first step, take one of the variables to the other side. After that, just, you know, mark X and Y. I have to find out the solutions. Only thing that we have to do is find out one solution to this problem. And then everything can be auto calculated. Let's see how. Let us say that I put Y is equal to one. I will get a one zero seven here, which is not divisible by five. If I put Y is equal to two, I will get one zero nine minus four, which is one zero five. Now, 105 is divisible. So, I have found out the first solution. One solution can be, if I put y is equal to 2, this becomes 105, which is 21 times 5. So, x becomes 21. As soon as you found that one solution, the game is done. Now, what will happen? Now, x will start moving with the coefficient of y, which is minus 2. And y will start moving with the coefficient of x, which is 5. So the next solution will be y is equal to 7 and x will be 21 minus 2, which is 19. Next solution will be 7 plus 5, which is 12 and 19 minus 2, which is 17. Next solution is y is equal to 17 and x is equal to 17 minus 2, which is 15. Now, only thing which becomes very important here is the condition that is there. The condition that is there is y must be greater than or equal to x and x must be greater than or equal to minus 10. Let us see. Now, in the first few solutions, if you see, x is greater than y. So this condition is not being satisfied. So this cannot be a solution to this special equation. Similarly, this can't be a solution. This can't be a solution. But if you look at this solution, here, y becomes equal to greater than or equal to x. So therefore, this is a acceptable solution. And x is also greater than or equal to minus 10. What will happen after this? After this, y will keep on increasing, right? After this, y will keep on increasing. So y will become, let's say that after this, yeah, after this, y will become 17 plus 5, which is 22, and x will become 13 which is also an acceptable solution. Now, we know that y is greater than or equal to x has been achieved. Now, I have to look at this. How can I quickly achieve this? Think about it. This number will keep on reducing. This number will keep on increasing. So, y greater than or equal to x is sorted. Now, x will keep on reducing. 15, 13, 11 goes on till minus 9. After minus 9, it will become minus 11. Then, x will not be greater than or equal to minus 10. So I have to take this till minus nine. How many numbers are there? How many numbers are there? Think about it. These are all, you know, if you see that these are moving at a difference of two. So if I see the positive numbers from one to 15, there are eight numbers. And if I see the negative numbers, minus one, minus three going on till minus nine, there are five numbers. So the number of solutions is 13. I'm hoping that this is clear to you. I'm hoping that this entire thing of special equations is clear. 
solve a few more questions. You will find a lot of questions in any uh, level one book that you will seek. Thank you so much. God bless.